بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته dearest and faith here is fadlullah and um, this is the sunnah series Naam. so uh, Allah Akbar when going up and um, subhanallah when coming down so it was reported by Jabir radiallahu anhu that whenever they went up they do say you know Allah Akbar and um, when coming down subhanallah Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Subhanallah, 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 Subhanallah So, let us not go forth. Barakallahu Fikum this is another interesting sunnah service of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So this was reported by Abu Huwaira radiyallahu anhu that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Whoever purifies himself for ablution in his house and he walks to a house, you know, among the houses of Allah, that is masjid, and um, in order to fulfill an obligation, so a step of his shall expiate his sin, and um, another step, step shall, you know." Elevate the status. Ya Quran, alayka salam. Kalamun ya diru, shifaun li sudu. Ayatuhu jamal, tahlu bihi al-haya. Qalbi yashtaqu in. And may um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for each and every one of us. So, let the sunnah go forth. Assalamu alaikum. Now, this is another uh, video on revive the son of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So, in this video, let's talk about you know asiwak, miswak, yeah, the two stick. You know, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, uh, "Laula an ashuqa ala ummati li amartuhum bisiwak inda kulli salah." That if it were not to be difficult for us, his nation, you know, it would have ordered us to use the, the, uh, the two stick in every solar why because the prophet doesn't want us to miss out on a huge great reward still emphasizing on the use of siwak the prophet in, an, in another narration said uh as siwaku the miswak the two they are the two stick that the two stick cleanses and purifies the mouth and places allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So why refraining yourself from this uh this great sunnah of the prophets? So do you have it? Yes or no? Go get it and let the sunnah go forth. Don't stop it. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. I don't think I know it anyway. I'm sorry. You know, actually, brother, I don't need to know it before I greet you first. You Why? know, it was reported by uh, Abdullah ibn Umar, radiallahu anhuma, that Anna Rajula sa'ala nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that a man asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that which act in Islam is the best. You know, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replied and said, you know, tutu'imu tu'ama wa taqra'u salama. That to give people food and um, to greet everyone, even though you know the person or you don't. You know, so that's why I greeted you first, brother. So, what will you say to people? Let's not go forth and don't stop it. Praise for the Lord and um, inshallah, to even you're all well. Now, in this sunnah, uh, revive the sunnah series. There is this hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that says, you know, uh, Izratul mu'min ila adalati saqai thumma ila al-ka'bain fama kana asfala min thalika fafin nar Allah's love with every beat Al-Qur'an nurun wa bayan Al-Qur'an So let the sunnah go forth. Barakallahu fikum. Assalamu alaikum. So this is another episode on revive the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.
so in this video let's talk about you know the saying of the prophet that said whoever say these words you know after the call to prayer allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to grant you you know the intercession of the prophet sallallahu on the day of qiyamah so Anjabir bin Abdullah radiyallahu anhu qal qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam man qala hina yasma'u an-nida'a Allahumma rabba adhihi da'wati tamma was salati al-qa'ima ati Muhammad al-wasilata wal fadila wa ba'athuhu ma qama Mahmud al-ladhi wa'adda hallat lahu shafa'ati so the Prophet said, whoever said this word after when the call to the prayer has been proclaimed. When you say, Allahumma rabba adhihi da'wati tamma. O Allah, Lord of this perfect call and established prayer. Give Muhammad, you know, the intercession and favor. Raise him to the status that is the position you have promised him. The Prophet said, Hallat lahu shafa'ati yawm al -qiyama. Such person that says this after the call to the prayer is going to be granted his intercession. So, however, this is the condition. Yes, dearest in faith, listen. You have to what? Do away with shirk. You know, as a certain partner with Allah, hold fast your tawheed. You must have a good creed, a good aqidah. And whatever the Prophet has reframed us from not to do, you have to kick it off. Don't engage in a sinful acts and say, after all, Prophet said, when I'm saying this after the call of the prayer, it's going to intercede for me. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. So you have to do what? Do away with sinful acts, hold fast to your tawheed, and hope for this on the day of Qiyamah. So that's how it works, be idnillah. So spread the sunnah and achieve happiness. Assalamu alaikum. جمال تحلو به الحياة قلبي يشتاق إلي نور بين يدي بسم الله ولجنا بسم الله خرجنا وعلى ربنا توكلنا السلام عليكم